managing partner of the Impact Fund for African Creatives. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I, I come here bearing good news and bad news. The bad news is that our time is up as a human species. In the next 10 years, we're going to see unprecedented changes in our landscapes, in our ecosystems, in our oceans, literally the planet. Why? Because all the scientists of the world are telling us that it is time to wake up and take action. That's what the Secretary General is doing this week at the United Nations just around the corner. We need to raise commitments. We need to act now. If we acted in 2003, our business as usual pathway mitigation was 4% below business as usual. If we act today, it is 17% year on year. If we don't in 2028, it will be 43%. So those of us that run massive businesses worldwide have every reason to be concerned about business continuity. I'm concerned about planetary continuity and that of our species. Um, but talking about that, you know, so there are a lot of moving pieces there, and one of the biggest pieces there is the fashion industry. The fashion industry employs about 75 million people worldwide. It's a $2.4 trillion economy. But the big elephant in the room, as far as the fashion industry is concerned, is the $500 billion it loses every year because most of it is not recycled. It's use and throw. Imagine if we recycled it every year, 100%, that's a saving of $500 billion, not just for the industry, but for Mother Earth. Because that is how much natural resources we would not be extracting every year, putting that additional pressure. So the problem is the solution itself, if we focus on the solutions. That brings me, uh, that gives me great pleasure. So the good news is that we have with us a very successful African businesswoman. She was the youngest African to be inducted into the African Leadership Hall of Fame in 2016. She's the co-founder of Impact Fund for Af African Creatives, a 100 million euro fund that will invest in creative businesses across Africa, together with an accelerator in partnership with the International Trade Center, Ethical Fashion Initiative. She's an avid philanthropist and passionate about women's development opportunities across Africa. We at the United Nations believe that her experience, knowledge, passion, as well as her capacity to mobilize partnerships will certainly support our work to serve people and the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce Roberta Anan as a UN Environment Supporter on Creative Economy, our global voice. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome Roberta Anan. Thank you so much, Satya. It's really an honor and privilege to um, be designated as the UNEP Ambassador for Creative Economy. It's obviously a natural progression to um, the work that I have been doing to support um, the, what I also learned here today is the orange economy, um, particularly as it pertains to the African continent. Um, bringing it all back to the environment, as Satya said, you know, fashion is actually the second largest polluter of the environment. So as part of my role, I'm looking to um, support international fashion brands and luxury brands to adhere to the right and sustainable practices in their manufacturing and production. And initiatives such as what Gucci just launched a couple of weeks ago, which is the Carbon Neutrality Program, are the initiatives that I'll be supporting and I'll be making sure that other international brands follow suit. So thank you so much for the opportunity to serve. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen,